Hello everybody, welcome to Pepper Biscuits, the Halflings, game number six. Humans is probably going to be bad. Um, so the Lizardmen, it turned out the Lizardmen were alright because they didn't have any block, but he's got four block. Which is going to be an, an annoyance for Halflings, isn't it? That is going to be annoying. He's obviously not going to get anything here. So we've got 150. So it could be Puggy. Or it could be the Chef. He's got two re-rolls. Like, Puggy was super good. Kind of, and that's kind of tempting me to go, Puggy. And he's got re-rolls for the sure hands, and he's got re-rolls. Like, he's got loads of blocks. He doesn't need to re-roll many blocks. So it's not like the chef's going to be that good. Could go Willow for a bit of strength. Can't get it. Yeah, Puggy is pretty good. I mean, Puggy was incredible that game. He's got. And he would give us like a 1D on his ball. And a reliable blitzer. I mean, I'd have to spend all the money to go chef, wouldn't I? Which is. It's not a viable strategy long term. This is maybe one of the harder matchups, I guess, with the, the blocks. Okay. Screw it. I guess when I get to 150, I scum, don't I? 150 is scum time. Bobby and Ari in here. Great emo. <laughs> Gotta play fair, have it here. There's Elliot. Set up. Maybe like that's why I quite like sidestep on these guys, right? And then if I had two sidesteppers, they could hold this sideline. So I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't hate having two sidesteppers. <laughs> Flings and no scoring. I'm a somewhat novice, not a very experienced course coach. Hello. Good. <laughs> not going to write that. <laughs> but good. <laughs> it is the Spanish clan. Yeah, it is the Spanish. Clan. Oh, dear. Good looking, I mean. Hello. T Swiss.
Always confusing with the end weird GG. <laughs> Give me the beginning. <laughs> Prepare your anus. <laughs> It has been a while, but I'll be forever confused. <laughs> yeah, me too. Still less games than KFUG's had on one of his high elf teams on Fumble. <laughs> Probably. I don't know, he's played a lot. He's played like over a thousand. Ooh, heat. This could be good, right? He's only got 11. We've got 15. So... You know, that's, um, that's a good thing. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, yeah, he is new. He is new. Glorious. 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 No, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious. Jeez, and I will it. defend. I will defend. It is I, T. Swizzle. Thank you very much. Absolutely glorious. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's really bad losing a tree, isn't it? But look, a sidestep, you could have sidestep here, right? You would have started here and you would have sidestepped to here and it would have, it would have kept the, uh, you know, there could have been, like, surfing opportunities or at least keeping the sidelines shut down. Thank you very much, T-Swiz. I'm staying fantastic. Glorious. So, yeah, I, I really don't hate sidestep on them. But you know, maybe this sure feet will do things. You never know. Yeah, there is actually a good chance to lose a tree, isn't there? But still, there's a, there's a good chance to beat up men. Pick a wrestler. <laughs> oh, he rolled the power. What a look at dog. Not even 3D. Yeah, they're slow, aren't they? Halflings are slow, so it was it was an effort to make them faster. Three players, don't I? One, two, three, four, five. And then have three players and punch him. Or he could just G5, that seems bad. Now they want to go this way. Can't risk the G5 from. Yeah. Hey, get the power. It was just pick a wrestler. That was that was what it was. This this random dude joined the JFW stream and was just like, pick a wrestler, pick a wrestler, pick a wrestler. <laughs> and despite people picking loads of wrestlers, he was just like, pick a wrestler, pick a wrestler, pick a wrestler. He wouldn't stop. He was obsessed. That everyone had to pick a wrestler for like an undisclosed reason. Nice removal there, wasn't it? Shamey Appold. Well, Shamey Appold player. It was a brand new way to get 2k, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did he? He was doing a draft. Oh, I didn't know that. Alright, well, there you go. He gave a reason he was doing the draft. But couldn't he just do it himself? <laughs> like. <laughs> 
<laughs> Couldn't he have just done it himself? <laughs> yeah, he did end up with 29 Cesaro. <laughs> Big up white nation, absolutely. Yeah, it's annoying them having block, isn't it? That makes them very, very good at blood ball. <laughs> oh, that was a smart move. joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. That was a smart move. You could say bad by me to let him do it. Best the ball. Ball is best. Terrible. Twenty nine Cesaro and Tory Wilson. That was his draft. <laughs> oh, he just dodges away. Well, that makes sense. You might love it to this blitzer. The good thing about halflings is people like try to rack up the scores against you, don't they? Like I noticed that especially with ogres. All skills on, um, because I thought people might struggle to differentiate which or the blitzers, because and more the fact that I know I find it hard to differentiate the blitzers. <laughs> Well, that was disappointing, wasn't it? Oh, man. The bloody AV break. Could have just pushed him, couldn't he? But instead, he gets the pow. Can go for the cheeky... Uh, the cheeky 1D from uh, Puggy is always an option, isn't it? Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. <laughs> Smash him a bit. Fucking killed him. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. The uh, the toxic showboat are there.
<laughs> oh man. Oh, <laughs> you big spray cat. Oh dude, this is uh... Yeah, I wanted a foul, but again, I needed the players to punch, right? Like, I want a foul, but it's hard. I really wanted a foul. <laughs> Two cars, including a death and a kill. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> That's true, J5, yeah. That's true. I mean, you're obviously making, making the KO was great, but like, obviously that might not have been a knockdown or an AV break even, but I still I wanted to make the hit more than foul. And obviously it worked out quite well, but... Like, I really wanted to foul that dude. I mean, plus four. How could you not want to foul him? Oh boy, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. We're going in. We're going in. <laughs> I am a beginner, to be fair. To be fair, Red Joe Grammar. I'm a beginner, so, you know. Right. First things first. Nice. Really nice. People tagged up. Is this a GFI? He's got your feet. Hurt dirt. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. He has got the sure feet. Do you know what? I could just 2D him. I don't even need a sir. Woohoohoo, show your feet doing the thing. Right. Like, the surf is pretty great, though, isn't it? If the ball comes in here, he can maybe get it. If it comes in here, he can get it. If it goes in there, he can get it. Yeah, alright, I've got to go for it, haven't I? Fucking never lucky. I should have just approached him. <laughs> it's annoying, isn't it? Like, it was already a really strong position, so probably should have. Like, normally that's good for halflings, isn't it? Dodging into an uphill surf. But it was such a strong position. Probably should have just played normally. Because now he just had 3 twos to slow, which is pretty easy. No. Wasted a reroll. Okay, a blitzer out is nice. So he's only got nine. Oh, <laughs> no fails from the heat. Four turns with only one reroll. Might have to lob it, dude. Shit. That was kind of annoying, wasn't it? And it was, well, it was only 30% fail, wasn't it? Like, the boat down was good. So it was only a 30% fail. It wasn't terrible. But, like, if it had worked, and he's 
off the field, like it becomes dominating then, wasn't it? But it was already good. And I'm not sure it was right to go for it or not. I'm not sure if that was right to go for or not. Like, even though it was a dominating position, halflings are still a bit shit, aren't they? <laughs> so it could well have been... It could well have been the right decision. Um... Even though... Even though it failed. Who knows? Maybe put an extra guy back. They're slow. Almost put a move, a move up guy back. Quand est-ce qu'ils vont l'embrasser Je te vois venir gros comme une maison, Bob Soufflez dans le ballon Hein <rire> Pas question que je te relance là-dessus J'ai pas dit... Ouais... T'es pas un joueur. For four turns. So you can go back a bit. There, one, then two, then three, and off, and then four, yeah, okay. Actually that terrible. <laughs> not great, but not actually that terrible. Because at least can get into a cage. Next turn can get into a cage. Next turn, reroll the pickup. Go in. Vanity pass. Hello, Saramol. <laughs> Classic play. Maybe I should have played safer on defense because it had really gone so well. I had the chance to play safe. Blitzed, uh, because I just it was more likely to fail, uh, less likely to fail. One in thirty-six from him, and two dice, or is it one in twenty-seven for him to, one in twenty-seven for him to triple both down, and one in thirty-six for him to double skull. So it's just less chance of a fail, and it, it, that's where I wanted him anyway. So it wasn't wasn't a positional cost. He could have rooted by activating them as well. Yeah, no, no, fair enough. <laughs> um, no, yeah, that's it, basically. Yeah. That was my rationale. Whether it's right or not, I don't really know because I'm new to halflings. Mm. 
So there you go. So he is rooted, but he could potentially pass this guy. Well, now all I've got is the throw, isn't it? I can't re-roll it. Yeah, no mighty blows either side, yeah. But I mean, that, that was it. It was just, I just wanted to be a bit safer. Because, you know, with like with a pitch invasion, taking down all my guys. <laughs> oh, wow, he's just blitzing with the uh, ogre. Gets the power as well. Oh, I didn't expect that. Rip, puggy. Might you blow on armor six? He's all right! <laughs> puggy! <laughs> Oh man, is he going to foul him the thrower? No, he's not. Could surface blitz there, right? It's possible, but it's probably not worth trying. Okay. So there's a there's a fling here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hand off to that fling, lob him, score. Is a is a fine play to attempt. Let's do the pass next turn. Do the pass next turn's better, isn't it? I've just realised. <laughs> I've just realised doing the pass next turn is better. Because that's just adding an extra three plus, isn't it? To the rolls. Do I reroll the pick up this time? I think I have to reroll the pick up this time. Il s'est emparé du ballon. Très judicieux de sa part puisqu'il faut le ballon pour marquer des points. <laughs> Alright, so he's got the throw next turn. There's no need to hand it off to him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? He can get down as an additional scoring threat. Le soutien suffira-t-il à prendre le dessus? Whoops. Uh, 10 a.m. on Saturday, Pratt Star. Yeah, Saturday morning. 
Uh, that's annoying because I wanted I wanted to make his dodge through and get down as a scoring threat. I was just I didn't look at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so now all there is is the fucking toss. It's annoying. That was a nine to turn to run out of time on. Only having one scoring threat is trash, isn't it? That's nice. That doesn't matter, does it? Right, so he punches him. Then he throws him, so there could be. He could throw him over there, and there could be a blitz here. I guess. I have to chain him too, which isn't happening. This is rough. Very rough. I should have had this extra scoring through. Oh god, this is a dangerous area to go into. Maybe I'll just go there. <laughs> Roll the one. Oh, is there a chance? There's a chance. That was bad play, wasn't it? I should have had the extra scoring threat up. But, uh, it doesn't matter if you roll the dice. That was horrible after, after using the reroll on the fucking, uh, on the throw teammate as well. Using the reroll on the two plus. But there was like a five plus landing, was it? Was it a four? Or, I don't even know what you land on. <laughs> uh, four or a five landing. Whatever it was. It was a five plus landing. Holy shit, and made it. Oh, his ogre's off. <laughs> no halflings. I mean, obviously could have failed four random halflings at neither, on either result. But um, no trees or, or puggy gun is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> right, and he's down to nine players. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, the last game. The last game, the GFIs were rough. But, uh... Oh, he rolled a one in the GFI as well, so, uh... He did use the, uh... He did use his sure feet to get the tutty. Glorious. Glorious. Yeah, London 5 is mad, isn't it? So he can go there, and then Puggy can... I don't know, blocking with Puggy's great, but obviously carrying with Puggy is... really great. Oh, 
I scored with the wrong one as well. Because <laughs> he's lower case. He's a lower case scumbag fling. Carries and he does, doesn't he? <laughs> he fucking does. Oh, dear. Yeah, he's on 12 now. If he gets an MVP, uh, he levels again. Like, he was on more SPPs, which is why I did it. He's also got the same face as Puggy. Destined for greatness. Destined for greatness, aren't no He's not all caps. And he's got the Elliot head. <laughs> oh, dear. So, two men up is pretty great. Really want to hit with. It's annoying. Really want to hit with Puggy, but it's just so good to have the 2D blitz off his ball. Throw a rock. Okay, gypped on the rock. That's disappointing. Absolute dicing. Never lucky. Woe is me. Rowdy. Okay, three days, let's go. Hey, bim. Oh. Oh. Nine take <laughs> Um, not as annoying. I really should have moved somebody as well, so I didn't have to re-roll that. I could have moved somebody, but he could just blitz straight through there, couldn't he? If I just moved... First... Everything would have been all right. Also, I secretly wanted to quad skulls <laughs> for the first time ever. <laughs> Not quad skulls, hexaskull. For the first time ever, it would yeah exactly. It really wasn't terrible. It really wasn't a terrible one to take. I would have liked to have taken it, but I just hadn't moved that guy over like two or three squares. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, unconcerned elf. They drop like flies. To be fair. <laughs> Hello, Sata. Yeah, like I would like it to happen to me once. <laughs> just so it's happened. But that was too easy for me to just break through. I should have moved first. You just don't think the. Like, you don't think the triple score would happen, but the triple down was a danger. So I should have uh, played around that. <laughs> But now it's on uh, now it's on Puggy, it's alright, isn't it? Now we're safe as houses. No chance this can go wrong. See, no chance at all. I was right. Get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Puggy says, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> right, so they've all 
done there thing. No, no, Shawnee. No, Shawnee, no! Oh! Oh, it's all going wrong now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players. He's got eight. But all of his blockers are getting the tee off. Still got the handoff toss play at some point. But that reroll usage could be huge. Nice to get rid of his catcher. That is good. He might over pursue here. It definitely looks like he's done it with that. Still get to use one of these trees. Oh. Still get to use one of these trees as like a pivoty point, right? That's rude. He's just, he's just basing all men's. He is just basing all men's. What a scene, that. Okay, so yeah, this is tricky because I can't hit him into there with Puggy because he'd be burst. You just want to let him hit me. <laughs> it's a bit shit, isn't it? L'important n'est pas la taille, Bob. Euh, bien sûr que si. Avec ces troncs d'arbres qui lui tiennent lieu de bras, c'était un peu plus d'avance. Ne vaudrait-il pas mieux esquiver que chercher à bloquer, Bob? Ah non, Jim. Well, okay, maybe that was a better one to re-roll, eh? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> two dice blocks are too risky. No, the, the fling toss would be like the last, the last option. Wow, that was. <laughs> That was pretty fucking unlucky. <laughs> wow. That was the safest thing I could have done, right? Pretty unlucky. Because it was ni it was nice because it was sticking him on the tree as well. On a push. Like, there was the danger of the one in nine. It wasn't great. And then I was just going to go back and just let him punch everybody. Yes, the fling toss is the only option. God, that was annoying. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's not that like it's not that annoying. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? It's pretty annoying because this was looking pretty good. It was. It, it, what's annoying was that re-roll. If I hadn't used, I mean, it might have it might not have worked anyway, right? Alone a four plus, but. If I hadn't used that reroll on the first turn, I could have tried to reroll that, and it might have worked. Instead of just having to eat the dust skulls. Okay, I think it's the right play. I think putting it on Puggy and using him to move himself around is better than just relying on a 1 in 9 from a, a rostered player. Of course, if you've got, if you've got, Puggy's better at getting hit, a lot better at getting hit than a roster player. 
because he's got the four blockers. So the, the the leaving everyone mark part would have been fine if I'd just not double scold. Was a I didn't hit blitzing with him. It's just, it's just. I think it's just unlucky. Right. <laughs> Take root. <laughs> oh, flip me, guys. Night. No, well, looks like a loss, doesn't it? He might score here, in which case there's a chance. Have a draw. Might finally lose with halflings. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I think it was right. It was just because a push or a dodge away, he gets he gets pretty safe. And hit, giving up all these hits wasn't that bad. I mean, he just proved it. It wasn't, it wasn't even that bad giving up all those hits. It was just uh, just double sculling him, and then him catching the ball as well. It was just brutal, wasn't it? Just, just brutally unlucky. Oh, Dimmy. Dimmy. The problem is the bits is with block just smashing me. Increases the knockdowns. Or doubles them, doesn't it? So, right, so he's not stolen. Two dodges and a GFI. On your bike, Puggy. <laughs> oh dear, Puggy's dead. Alright. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three dodges. It's only one dodge and a GFI. Fuck it. He's got to do three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Three dodges. I think this is probably best. Alright, good. So he's got to do three dodges for a 1D. Oh, he can do two dodges for a 1D. I 
And he's not stalling, he's not stalling. Hey! <laughs> Do I try this? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I think it was fair. I think it was the right move. Well, the, the deeper question is not whether that particular move was the right move, but whether it was just right to carry on on Pookie full stop. Like, that's it. You know, like, it was definitely it was definitely right to, uh, to do that blitz, no doubt about that. But the question is whether it was right to carry on Pookie at all. Um, and I think it probably is. The only, the only bad thing is... Like you, if you're gonna have to dodge, you're gonna have to dodge anyway, whether it's rostered or not. And uh, well, I mean, that is when he came unstuck, right? He did get, he was punching. So like, because it's kind of easy for them to just base the ball. And the problem is, if you get base, then it's a one in nine, you just lose. Whereas at least with Puggy, it's a one in thirty-six that you just lose. So. Yeah, I don't know. C'est pas un cap, que dis-je? Une péninsule. Like that 1D power there, that would be much better if Puggy was making it a 2D with block. Il rigole dessus comme un halfling sur un bon gueuleton. Right. <laughs> Which one do you want, dickhead? <laughs> I don't mean that, of course. Sure, he's a lovely fellow. But, um, <laughs> the player, it's the player, not the coach. No, See, that's what happens if your ball gets based as halflings, right? Like, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, that's the thing. Carrying on Bloodstring 3 is pretty good, isn't it? And it's just unlucky that he won in 36th. Maybe I shouldn't have blitzed with him because of the push direction. Maybe I should just dodge to here. And then he could have blitzed, pushing him to there, pick up and stand there on the, on the sideline. But obviously now it's over, because he's got, he's got you. GG. And the dub skulls deal kit. I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not whining about my dice, but it was it was pretty much over, wasn't it? The dub skulls was, was done, really, then. Yeah. Yeah, the sidestep would have been all right, and you know, yeah, it would have been all right. But you know, he'd, he'd use the he used the he used the sure feet to score and use the sure feet to make the hit on the ball. So like, it's the sure feet has been good. But there's no. I mean, he could get calcium dice, I guess, but it's very unlikely, isn't it? What's this like? Nine eighty-one. Oh, no! 
Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow. Oh wow. Incredible. Incredible. We've got a chance. Go around. He stunned as well. Amazing. Actually amazing. So he's only got three chances to pick up the ball now. Okay, got a got a run. <laughs> Sat the toad. <laughs> Not the best at running. And he also he's got obviously he's got scatter catches here. But essentially this is like a one in twenty seven that eats a draw. That's pretty good odds. <laughs> it was better than like what it could have been for him, which was you know I don't know what it was. About one in two hundred and seventy. And now it's one in twenty seven. <laughs> Walking the man running here. <laughs> Sorry, G <G6>. six. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's a big difference being move 5 and move 7. Like, move 5 is so bad. It's the problem that Snortlings have as well. They're like, they're so fucking slow. So, now oh, there you go. Just fouls this, doesn't he? Yeah. Probably should have just gone away. I don't know. I can't reach him anyway. Doesn't matter. Don't worry, G6. I'll never use a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> and when I do, it'll be pe one will be pepper and the other one will be biscuit. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, that's it. It's funny that that drive really went to shit. Five KOs, four cars, and nothing before that. Like nothing in the first half. There was nothing in the first half. It was amazing. Um. Like at the start of the drive it was looking great, nine versus eleven, and it was just that dub skulls just, just killed the game. Really, <laughs> Mister Throw Speed is not sufficient at all, Odin. Not sufficient at all. Well, there you go. That was fair. Enough, wasn't it? I guess there is like you know some kind of thing is whether you do, whether you carry on Puggy or not. I think it was all right, just a monkey. There you go. Shawnee, the guy who <laughs> fucking <laughs> failed us, gets the MVP. Maybe I should have fouled more in the first half with four reserves, but then there was the there was the heat, and obviously he was liable to just make loads of cars at any point. So oh, he's only badly hurt. Alright, rando skill. K fog. So I could go with a couple of sidesteppers. I I'd, I'd quite like a couple of sidesteppers here. Can buy another player. And uh Yeah, there you go, there's the first loss. Fair enough. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave I can't speak there. Yeah, my I just really don't know, you know, because like I really don't know whether it was right, the right call to carry on Puggy because it's not hard for them to base your ball. The problem is any any team can base your ball pretty easily, and if they base your ball, you you've got to use Puggy to blitz them off. You've just got to. So whether you use Puggy because he's near the ball or whether you use Puggy with the ball, probably six and two threes, isn't it? But anyway, right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.